guys, how's it going? Got a unboxing for y'all today. This was my big Christmas gift from my family. They all pitched in and uh, got me a gift card from Do It Molds for making your own baits and stuff. This box is way too huge to even try to get it in frame, so I'm just going to take everything out one by one here. So, Alright, so it comes with a catalog of everything that they have in stock and supply. I just figured that I would start with soft plastics and then kind of see, you know, how I got along with it, how much I liked it, and then move on to may maybe some of the lead jig. I got a one gallon jug of the Essential Series Plastisol. It's pretty hefty. It's right there, one gallon. everything out and go through it so I went ahead and got um, some scent to go with it this is the triple threat they had three to choose from but this one piqued my interest it really doesn't give much of a description we'll see how good or bad that it is so it kind of settles I'm assuming you got to shake it up all right, we'll give it the sniff test. It smells like fish. It just is a strong fishy smell. That'll do. This is gonna be all my colorant. I just went with the Essential Series to start. They have a step up from all of these products. It's like a like a higher grade of all the glitters and everything. But I'm just starting with the the basic series of everything, getting started out. Give me some practice, and then if I'm feeling like I'm getting the hang of it, I'll move on up. So this is they're just one ounce of bottles. This one's Green Smoke. I got a chartreuse, watermelon green, a midnight blue, and purple smoke. So those are the basic colorants I went with. I'm assuming this is for the scent. Got a pack of, I think there's 25 bags in here for the soft plastics to store up whenever you're done. would be why it says glass on the outside of the box. Well, a little bit of a leak it looks like on the green glitter, which that's not fun. I'm going to store that up quick. I don't want glitter all over my place. So, got moss green. All the essential series glitters come in one size. Um, when you move up, they give you a smaller diameter glitter or a bigger one but I just went with the essential series for now I got silver or gunmetal sorry there's my silver and then I got purple I want to say I had a gift card I got the gallon of plastisol these five colorants four glitters the scent in these bags for just a, a little over a hundred dollars I think it was maybe a hundred and fifteen bucks or something um, not too bad a deal I got another gift from my family and we'll see how these work out but my brother-in-law does 3d printing he got the plans to 3d print some of the molds now he did say some of the certain plastics that you use in a 3d printer can react to the plastisol and almost fuse to it but he used a different plastic for the 3d printer that would not cause an issue is what he told me we're gonna try these babies out we just got some cinco's they did 
What is this one? It's just like a grub worm. This is the first one he did, and then he upgraded the the quality of what he was using. I mean, you can tell the difference. This has got some some pit, pits in it, and it's just not as smooth. Which, I mean, I don't care. If I'm making my own baits, it's just fun to do and try. Um, but this is way cleaner. All the grooves are all smooth, so I'm super excited to try this out. And then the last one that they did was just a little swim bait for me. Super unique and cool gift for Christmas. I'm excited to try all this stuff out, and I will try to do some future videos on that once I get a setup. I want to get a different microwave, just a cheapo microwave from, you know, a pawn shop or something cheap, or even just a cheap small one from walmart to warm up the plastisol and only use that for bait making uh stay tuned in the future i will start whipping some soft plastic baits up and let you guys know the results and how it turned out thanks for watching have a good one y'all pd i swear you just never quit you just can't help yourself he's got no manners about himself